For our fourth stencil technique, we're actually going to be getting a little bit more mixed media in our application, and we're going to use some texture paste. Now, this is going to start off the same in that we're going to apply our stencil over top of our cardstock. We're going to attach the stencil to the cardstock so that it doesn't shift around, and we have a really good placement of our stencil. Um, this is really important with mediums like this because if your stencil shifts even just the tiniest bit, you will get a weird... Um, like smeared result and your stencil won't be crisp and beautiful like you want it to be. So just make sure that you take that time at the beginning just to get that stencil in place and make sure it's not going to move around on you. So the texture paste is sort of like a frosting consistency. It is white. This particular one is opaque, but there are other finishes. So this is a matte opaque finish that I chose here, which means it's not going to be shiny and it's not going to be translucent or see-through. It is going to be a solid white um, and it's not going to be that shiny or gloss finish. So what I thought I would do to kind of step things up a notch is you could always just use the texture paste through the stencil by itself um, just to get a little bit of texture and have that extra added effect to your card but I thought we would get a little more fancy and use the Simon Hurley create dye ink pad to tint or color our texture paste so that you have more options with your texture paste than just using its original color so I pulled out the triple berry dye ink pad from Simon Hurley create and I just smushed that right onto my craft sheet I spritzed it with the mister with just clean water and then now I'm going to apply that water um, and the texture paste. I do find that it's best to try to use the flat edge of your palette knife or whatever tool you're using to spread the texture paste because if you use the other side or come in at an angle, you can end up scooping out some of the paste from where you've put it in through the, the holes of the stencil and it kind of undoes the work you've already done. Um, so I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I didn't grab quite enough texture paste. I probably could have stretched it, but um, I figured that for showing this technique, this was probably good. And it kind of gives like that faded out mixed media sort of look at the bottom when you don't have a perfect background across the whole page. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that off and you can see that we've got our design there. And now you just need to set it aside to let it dry completely.